Warped was founded when I was 18 years old. I got inspired to come to the cigar industry from my father. When I was a kid, he'd come home from work and I would you know, pick out a cigar for him from my humidor. He'd let me cut it, he'd let me hold the lighter for him, and instead of sending me off to go somewhere else in the house, he would have me sit with him. He would tell me about the cigar from his standpoint, from a consumer standpoint. So I learned about everything from the retail perspective of it, about what intrigued him. You know, was it the band, was it the box, was it the shape of the cigar, what he did like, what he didn't like. All these little details they think you're not listening to, you're not understanding. But I listened to them, I learned from them, and it really kicked off a whole entire inspiration for Warped. It was also just a way for me to really bond with my father. He was very busy when I was growing up. This was like the one time that we had these few peaceful moments together. And it really set me off on the cigar path. It wasn't until I was 16 years old that I actually had my first cigar with him. And it was a, it was a Monte Cristo number no. two um, Habano. We had it at the Atlanta shop in Nassau. And that was the first real cigar experience that I actually had with my father. And it was one of the most memorable experiences that I still had in the entire time I've been in the cigar industry. When I turned 18 years old, I just jumped in my car and I drove down here to Little Havana. And I just went right here on Cali Ocho. I just went to little factories that were around here at the time and just trying to learn more, trying to get inspiration. I had a lot of doors slammed in my face and only one factory took me in and I'm still here to this day, 13 years later. And that's El Titan Bronze. Since then, you know, we've gone on to create Aloso Loco Mena the flagship of Warp that you guys have come to know and we've been known for. Sandy's gone on to be one of, the, one of the best factories in the world and Warped has gone off on its own path as well. But you know, the one common piece that we've always had for Warped is that it always started right here. And that's why we're sitting in this, uh, in this beautiful little factory right now. It's a unique place and if you've been here, it's one of the last places where you come into a factory and actually visit. And you know, we're humbled that she took us in and it took Warped in. And it's been one hell of a ride and we've expanded now into Nicaragua, to Asali working with Angonorsa Leaf, and we just can't wait to see what happens next.